for Girls Without One is opening their doors and revealing the true meaning of Christmas. WWJ News Radio 950's Katherine Larson has a story. From a dark outlook to a bright future. There's hope, right? There's a lot of hope. Life before Vista Maria, Susan Holman was spiraling. From dangerous addictions to trouble with the law, the teen says it was too much and hit rock bottom. I ended up running away from home and just leaving all the time. Holman was sent to the all-girls sanctuary in Dearborn Heights, where intensive structure, AA meetings, and mentoring transformed her. Having the staff tell us every day that you can do it, there's no use in giving up. You can get through this, you just have to push through. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I heard that every single day I was here. And today, the healthy and happy young woman returns to campus with confidence to remember her six-month stay and why her world changed. Vista Maria is all about care, education, and treatment. It's also about Christmas. That's why volunteers are lined up with some of the clients. They're wrapping the presents, they're putting them in big bags, and they're going to take those bags to the dormitories. So the girls will have something to open Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Holman says the girls aren't asking for much this holiday. They really need clothes, different size jeans, um, shirts, nothing too low cut, um, nothing see-through. Vista Maria CEO Angela Oftenberg says the more than 160 girls, many orphaned, abandoned, or victims of abuse, see the 37-acre Vista Maria as a safe haven. What we try to do is provide care, trusting adult relationships, and we try to recreate the childhood that they, many of them have lost and get them to start to heal and start to trust again and start to believe in themselves. And Holman already is believing in herself. She graduated high school and is accepted at Wayne State to study social work. I'm Katherine Larson for First Forecast Mornings. For more information on Vista Maria and how you can donate, head online to cbsdetroit.com.